Hello, hello. What's up, pretty shining people? I want to start this video by saying thank you so much for the feedbacks on my why I think Firefly and Sam are two different people. I really like the discussion and people's point of views of the whole situation opened my eyes to new possibilities. So today, I will be simply reviewing the 2.1 patch trailer called Into the Yawning Chasm that came out a couple days ago and some other stuff that came out too. It will be a short video so stay tuned. Right off the bat, we get introduced to the star of the 2.1 patch, Acreon, looking fabulous and cool, showcasing just how deadly she really is. Along with the new map Clock Studios theme park, a showcase of Adventurine is featured with the assumption that he might be the big boss in the next story. There's also a theory that there will be a new element for the protagonist which will be imaginary. It's not 100% sure or 100% confirmed to if it's on this patch or a 2.2, but we shall see. Acreon takes a step forward that seems to activate a QTE or a quick time event ability similar to most dodge mechanics in Honkai Impact 3rd that changes her appearance making her look like Rita Rose Weiss up close, again from Honkai Impact 3rd. A questionable flashback occurs and come on, if you're still not convinced that Acreon is basically Raiden May's Hersher of Thunder form from Honkai Impact to Star Rails, I don't know what else to tell you besides... I hope Black Swan, I guess, have life insurance. I'll explain that a little later, but you'll find out why. I call it a questionable flashback because not everything in this scene seems to be one. There's a scene where we see the Astral Express fighting Adventurine, which is a current event. It's happening now and then. This led me to the belief that the scene with Firefly could also be a current event, which is a little concerning since it's I'm not 100% sure if that's the site of her illness, but there's a breaking effect on her face along with a worried expression. I won't be theorizing much since there's really nothing much to theorize about besides it could be a an occurring event as of right now it could happen in the patch instead of being like a flashback some other topics i also want to talk about is the release of boot boot hill boot hill <laughs> unless it's a massive troll most likely confirmed to be released on the 2.2 patch banner with robin puts a massive dent on my theory that firefly and sam are two different people it's not an acceptance of defeat but i just can't seem to find a place where they'd release Firefly but there are at least two or three more major patches before we can get a definitive answer since 2.0 is Black Swan and Sparkle, 2.1 will be Acreon and Adventurine, 2.2 will have Robin and Boot Hill. So yeah, 2.3 will hopefully have Firefly and 2.4 will maybe have Sam. Give or take, that's how many patches I noticed were very important to the main story of Lao Fu before I felt like the rest of the banners were like filler arcs. Getting to the reason why I hope Black Swan has life insurance. There was a video that went viral of Black Swan and Acreon dancing. Hey yo, post recording Neek here. So the full video of the dance have finally been released and I wanted to point out a couple of things on it instead of divulging my speculations about the dance. Like I did on the first part, which was supposed to be say, oh, I hope Black Swan has life insurance or the moon will shoot her with 1% of its power. It's a Honkai Impact third reference. You, you probably won't even get it, but it's okay. First and foremost, the big key plot to this dance is Black Swan digging into Acreon's encounter with the members of the Everflame Mansion, discovering that she basically murdered Ifrit in cold blood, and I'm guessing the others got away since they disbanded after they were attacked, right? It traumatized the poor memo keeper and I feel bad for Black Swan because she, she didn't deserve it. I know she was being picky about Acreon's memories but that's basically her job. The way it was portrayed was just a pinch of salt inside the mind of the story writer. The animation was smooth yet complex and the message of fear clearly traumatized Black Swan. I still feel bad. With this reveal, I just do hope that Star Rail will finally include a character I've been waiting for the most, which is Kiana Koslana. 
who would play a polar opposite to Acreon or at least a version of her in Star Rails. Yes, the dance is flirty and there's a lot of innuendos, but at least, at least two of the four versions of this character ships her with Kiana. Which takes us to the next and last topic I want to talk about, the Yuri vibes the dance gave off. A lot of people were simping for Acreon until this video stating, oh, they'd skip her cause she's a Yuri character and all I can say about it was first time. Clearly, MiHoYo Games virgins, right? Am I right? Am I right, veterans? I'm looking at you, champ! Or at least those people who are into lore. Knows GGZ, Honka Impact 3rd. Come on, even in Genshin Impact, you can't tell me they don't ship Yuri. I just think the whole situation is ridiculous. I still am and will be a simp for Acreon just because of the chance that Kiana Kaslana could also possibly be included in the game. I mean, Genshin still doesn't have her, so I'm still a little worried. But at the same time, some of the Honkai Impact characters are not in Genshin, but you know, just wishful thinking and I'm hoping, okay? Just let me be, man. Anyway, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. Like the video, subscribe, and help me with my road to 500 subs or more by the end of the year. 2.1 patch will be coming soon, and I have saved up 100 tickets for her. Nothing could possibly go wrong, right? Right? Peace.